yeah, I hit infinite this month with a Thanos deck, which I did not expect, but Thanos got a big change with the patch this week. Some of the stones got shifted around. Space Stone now turns Thanos into a Jeff. You can play him into Sanctum Sanctorum or Professor X, and then uh, we got uh, the Soul Stone as well getting changed. Thanos can't be discarded or destroyed. Now safe from Shang-Chi, which is actually kind of seeing an uptick in play with some of those Thena decks running Shang-Chi. And of course I wanted to try it out, see how this feels. And because now Space Stone is an ongoing stone, you've also got Power Stone and Soul Stone as ongoing cards. That'd be fun to put them in a Spectrum list. Ravona is really good right now. I wanted to put Thena in here as well as another strong standout card at the moment. That makes Professor X make a ton of sense, which now with Thanos being a Jeff, in essence, he can't move himself, but he can be played into that Professor X location. That can give you kind of some spicy plays there. Yeah, this deck actually went pretty okay for me. Uh, I went 12 and eight while recording. So a solid little run. I don't feel like Thanos is definitely gonna be at the top of the meta by any means. And I certainly don't know if this list is the way it's gonna be played if it is. You know, we need a lot more time and data. For me, this one worked out all right. I think it'll be okay for most of you out there as well. Probably not the best deck in your arsenal, but a good reliable way to play Thanos while still, you know, gaining some cubes and climbing a little. That said, uh, enjoy some of this fun new Thanos action. But before we move on, let's talk about our sponsor for this video, Cook Unity. Now, this is the third time Cook Unity has sponsored a video here on the channel, so you guys must be loving it and ordering a ton of food. But if you don't know Cook Unity, it's a meal subscription service which features recipes from real award-winning, famous top-level chefs. For instance, uh, names like Jose Garces and Esther Choi are people I watch on TV and they're putting together the recipes for your Cook Unity meals. So each week you'll get awesome meals delivered right to your door. They are already fully cooked. You store them in the refrigerator, then when you're ready to eat, you just pop them into the microwave, or my wife likes to put them in the toaster oven, and they come out great every time. Now in the past, I've ranted and raved about the beef beery quesadillas, which are still really good. I got some in my most recent order, but I got a new dish this week, which I think might be my new favorite. It is the house-made corned beef, which my wife was laughing about, but it had great mashed potatoes. The cabbage was shockingly good, and it came with a ton of really good corned beef as well. It's really fun going through the website each week to pick out your meals, a few for me, a few for the wife, soon perhaps a few for the baby as well. And thankfully they can meet all kinds of different dietary restrictions, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, low carbs, low calories, and a handful of other options as well. Cook Unity is really flexible with subscriptions as well. You can reschedule orders, you can modify your plan super easily going up and down on the number of meals you get each week, or you can just pause your plan too. If you're like going out of town for a couple weeks, super easy to pause it to make sure uh, you're getting your maximum value. So if you wanna join me in enjoying some Cook Unity, then you can go to cookunity.com slash RegisK50 or hit that link down there in the description below. Use my code RegisK50 to get 50% off your first order and some delicious corned beef will be sent straight to your door. Listen, don't sleep on it. It's actually really good. Ooh, Death's Domain. Uh, I mean, Reality Stone always creates opportunity. Oh, Professor X as well, yeah. There's ways through this. Time Stone, please draw me a card. Opponent likes that Domain. It might be a Destroy deck. They're running a Sabretooth portrait. Of course, the one Destroy deck I've played in the last two weeks is during the Death's Domain game. That, that tracks. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Turnabout is fair play, sir. Oh, let's go. Okay, I was so tilted. And now I'm so happy. Decent hand, too. It's just like good five, good six, you know. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm so mad right now. Like, what are the odds? The one card. The one? card they drew from my deck which by the way is a 12 card deck at that stage the one card they drew turns off the thing that gives me the destroy cards 
I'm so, I'm so tilted. I cannot believe. I've, I've legitimately never been more angry in my life. Please, God, Wolverine, roll mid. Do, do I even maybe, or excuse me, roll left. Is there any world where I wait to play this? till the final turn where I can maybe like guarantee it goes left. I don't think I can play enough bodies. Plus death domain just hurts me. Uh, I mean, we'll just take her. Hopefully God, it goes left. I need a way to contest that because they killed reality stone. And of course they're going to have like Bucky or something. We're well, not necessarily Bucky, but it's possible. <gasps> oh, that's a high roll. That's a high roll hit. Are these going to play big Noel? They just keep killing the saber tooth. Like Noel's coming, man. I, I don't know. Magic. Oh God. Again, Reality Stone would just be delightful. It would just be so delightful. But it's there. It's here it is. I look into it and I can see all my hopes and dreams inside the gym. Trapped for eternity. Like Professor X lets me steal a spot still, maybe. I ate all my stones though. No, I didn't need all my stones. I don't know how many I got. I got five cards. Actually, most of my stones are alive. Okay. That could be good. Wolfbuster. It does seem like they missed the Deadpool they're looking for, at least so far. Uh, that Carnage is cool, dude. Really big knees. Very large knees. Oh, dude. I forgot. This also gives me an out with Thanos. Now that it gets destroyed, it doesn't. I guess I need the Spectrum now so that I can Thanos next turn. Left. I mean, the thing is, I don't even know if I need to win left, right? That's the problem is like... I, I might just be trying to beat a Null. I probably needed Professor... Like, left might be one already. Like, they may not have a way to go here. I don't know. Knowledge is power. 31 right. I mean this knoll is 8 million power already, dude. I'm so I'm so tilted. The one game. I mean their knoll is just too big, right? But do they have a second card that can win reliably? Like the knoll has to go right. Can they maybe just not win left and mid? Like maybe Thanos wins here, especially with Danger Room helping me out. I don't know. Maybe they don't have a Bucky. Well, it's like Null and nothing else, dude. We know Thanos is safe on Danger Room. Like, did we just get big enough right that it doesn't matter? You know what I mean? Thanos being safe here makes me feel really good. If you go Null mid, you're still too far gapped right, I think, aren't you? <sighs> they're, they're really... They, I, I don't know what they're cooking, but they're thinking... Dude, this Wolverine might have saved me. I, oh, they go both mid! What is it? What could it be? Arnim's Ola right, by the way, actually would have probably won this game if I'd look at it more closely. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. Oh, no, no. They're just too expensive. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, so happy, dude. I didn't even need the Thanos in hindsight. If it had gotten destroyed, we would have been okay, but... Oh, their hand must have just really died at the end. They have two cards in deck. I mean, you feel like there has to be a Deadpool, a Null, and maybe an Arnim Zola. If they had Arnim Zola, I guess we lost, right? Yeah, maybe we got lucky. I don't know. Uh, I don't like Quantum Realm. Yeah, we can do some work with that. Gotta be a better reality stone target, huh? Uh, yeah, let's do it, man. Would be cool to have a spectrum left option, but we don't have to have all four cards, you know. Mind stone's fine. Dude, we are close on Thanos already. Let's go. Let's get this. Oh, Merworld's beautiful. Uh that's an ongoing. This isn't. Let's maybe put one more ongoing card there. Uh we'll probably put like Thanos mid and then have like big ongoing splash left for Spectrum. Thanos, we're hoping to play on five. Oh my god, dude, we're one stone away! Please! Yeah, Thanos mid just got even better. Uh, okay. Strong development for them left. It's actually gonna get a lot harder for me to keep up suddenly. Am 
Mockingbird's really not it either left. Um, I mean, for now, this has no ongoings, but we kind of want to put a Thanos there. For now, maybe we'll put a Mockingbird there. I mean, I guess flipping this Soul Stone and this Ravona are kind of the same difference, but just a bonus to me. I mean, left looks gone, but you, you don't actually necessarily hate Blue Marvel Spectrum as a way to win left. It kind of depends on if we think we win mid and right. Oh boy, I can't add any power there now. Shoot. I think it's got to be Blue Marvel Spectrum, because now I can't add any other power mid and I might need to. The Spectrum might really catch them off guard, although if I get a Power Stone, it's going to be tempting, man. I'm going to be really sad not to play the Thanos. <laughs> it's going to feel really, really sad. I mean, I, to be fair, I don't think they're going to get to 10 mid. Like, I think Mockingbird will stay the biggest card, which goes to 10 with Blue Marvel. Um, so that's maybe a, a nice little three power bonus, but they might just be able to outstack it, you know, just get bigger organically. I wonder though, as we said, if the, um, the spectrum here might be the difference maker. I don't know if they're expecting six left. They might just have like an excess amount of cards to play anyway and just kind of do it, you know, like just like, oh, I got a couple things to play. But the more things they play, the worse Thena gets too. But they might need to play one card left for Thena and Angela to get above 16 even. But then is it enough to get above the 22 threshold? They also haven't won mid yet too, so they got to figure out a second spot as well. Sadly, no ongoing cards mid. These are all just the on reveal side. And Mockingbird, of course. I don't think they're gonna win left like this. There's no way, right? 22 is too far, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's fine. Don't care. That was just one card they had to buff the Thena, I guess. Uh, dude, they barely want mid too. Yeah, the spectrum difference, man. Stacking up all those ongoings really, really helped. Cool. This was a tough deck to beat, by the way. All right, Sakar, man. Definitely a good a good hit there. I guess we don't actually draw the card here because Thanos or Ravona are slightly better, but Thanos in particular. Uh, let's take a one in three instead of a one in four if we draw a card. Nebula's fine. We got a good hand for Nebula. Let's go. The one in three hits. Beautiful. Forge for the opponent. Okay. Forge and Nebula haven't seen much together. Maybe some kind of buff deck? Maybe gonna go for like Gilgamesh or something? Uh, Ravonna gives me access to good Thena, good Blob, good Professor X, good Thena. Let's go, man. Do we actually like the Ant-Man here, though? In the scheme of scaling, I guess he's maybe not the strongest. Yeah, I sort of would almost rather draw a card this turn, though, wouldn't I? Because I need to find a fill next turn for two cards for Thena. Sad about this Ravona hitting now, of course. A big blob, right? Oh. Okay, well, I was tempted by the Professor X, but now the Shaw is so big. Dude, I'm out of space. Dude, I am so out of space. I'm gonna try to just yoink mid with Professor X and then uh, maybe hit a blob or a spectrum or something that's better. Spectrum's not even that good, really. Professor X and Ravona are most of the buffs, <laughs> so it's not that great. Ant-Man Spectrum's a play, but really it's kind of blob, but I, I got like two more turns to figure out here is the issue. I don't know, I, I just don't think you can go Professor X right because Nebula scales you, Shaw still has like, you know, Silver Surfer outs or whatever. Uh, Spectrum, okay, something. Oh, <laughs> brood, you fool. All right, so double surfer is still a thing we have to think about a lot, I think. Uh, I cannot play Ant-Man and Spectrum together next turn, so I really wish I could play Ant-Man and get a s double Spectrum still available. Hope it man obviously buffs Thana now, but locks me out completely. I, the, 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 it's got to be a blob, right? I just, it's, it's it, Spectrum. I just cannot play Ant Man right now. Can I? I mean, maybe I can. Goes left.
Spectrum, or, yeah, Spectrum adds four left. Like, that might be enough to catch them off guard, but Double Surfer is so insane with Shaw that I almost need a Cosmo as much as anything, but I need to stay stay ahead in priority for that. Uh, I mean, the Ant-Man would let me have the priority Cosmo, uh, Cosmo top deck, but I really kind of need Blob or Cosmo. I don't know which one we're going to get. I think we need one or the other, though, to, uh, to win, honestly. Without them, I don't know if we can win. Yeah, I mean, Reality Stone, it, it does technically limit them a little bit, right? Maybe they only get one Surfer and that makes the difference somehow, but we're not winning here, I don't think. We gotta win here, which means Ant-Man Thena has to do the job. But maybe the Sinister London stops the Surfer from going off hard and we win. Maybe Reality Stone was kind of a weird answer we didn't expect. Luke's bar! Shang-Chi! <laughs> <laughs> they were gonna use the shark G to snipe the Thanos, so it's free to play right. And uh, yeah, the reality stone cooked it, dude. Nice. This is a big Thena game for this deck. She doesn't usually get this big, but definitely some great numbers on Thena. <sighs> okay, yeah, double blob. Uh, I mean, I hope Summers makes that feasible. I don't know if it's good. The second one will have much left. Oh, hope. nice. Yeah, perfect. Hope heard. She knew. Uh, I'm still gonna play the space stone instead of holding it for a hope. We hope to certainly find a, another stone by then. Yeah, perfect. This is great. Uh, great. What, dude? I said we hope to find a hope, and then I said this is great. I said we hope to find a hope. Hope entered the hand. I said this is great. Great web entered the hand. I need to say a uh, million dollars so that I can make a million dollars. Okay, uh, Mockingbird's fantastic, of course. They're gonna end up with some power in Great Web. We're, you know, it's it's nice to just fill a Great Web usually. Oh, dude, this can move, uh, unlike the Blob. So... Blob has enough, right? Nine, six, ten... Just wondering if that's the best path, like... I also have the, the cool line of like Professor X, Ant-Man, and then just play Thanos next turn and hope we're good enough right. I mean, we're pretty big right. It's not guaranteed by any means though. Uh, That's fine. Cosmo, we don't mind. I mean, we gotta, we gotta trust. Well, this is five. It's kind of a 14 point lead. I think I trust a 14 point lead. It's, it might even be a bot, honestly. Oh my god, that could go right though. It doesn't matter, but uh, Is this a bot? It's like a bot deck kind of, right? It sort of looks like a bot deck a little bit Big dude, big 14 to 19 Victory. I don't know. I love this line though. This is really cool. Thanos as Jeff is a really fun idea <laughs> He's just he's just a shark now uh, like, This is a really cool little line we took I don't know, that's a, that's a weird name. Probably looks like a bot name. I like this game though. I want to include this in the video. Ooh, great hand. I mean, a little clunky with all the twos, but Ravone on two, Athena Mindstone on three. It's just like a dream hand. This is kind of perfect. Gotta, I got to lean forward on this one because it might actually be a good game, you know? <laughs> it's like, hey, man, this one might be a good game in the video. Oh, She-Hulk is intriguing. Okay, yeah, even better hand, man. All right, this is coming together. Uh, what well, do you time to do all this stuff though? So feel might be hard to use. I don't I don't anticipate it being easy anyway. Oh, I forgot Mindstone's discount by Ravona too. Oh my god, even better, dude. Well, I say that, but only kind of better. I, I, you don't really want to play the Power Stone here, do you? You want to save it for later. Uh, Cheap Blob though is nice as well. Really, really good stuff. We're floating one, so Shield goes five next turn. Uh, if I got another, st well, I am getting another Stone. We know. So if I play two Stones next turn and float two, She-Hulk will be four on five, but I guess I'm always playing Blob on five in that case. I wouldn't mind seeing the Time Stone for Thanos to get cheaper too. Let me get that big Thanos down sometimes. Hazmat, ugh. Don't have a Luke Cage. It was absolutely considered quite a bit, but I mean, Grand Central's probably quite good for us, I would think. We just have a lot of big stuff in hand, so I'm not going to turn that off. 
Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. He said lean forward. This might be a good game. Are you kidding me? Bro. I mean, I just have no way to get this back, right? Like, it's just gone? It's just gone forever. I mean, I don't I don't think they're like a tribunal deck. Bro, this is a nightmare. Absolute disaster scenario. I know this is going to pull Power Stone now, too, because it's just the worst card. I can put a Power Stone mid to get stronger, you know? Oh, high Evo deck. Okay, sure. Well, I'm just not going to carry enough here. He needs to high roll like crazy. I mean, 17 is a high roll, but it's not like crazy. You hold naturally. Uh, I mean, I'm just like so distraught here. So I float on six. She's free. This still costs one or two, excuse me. Because I can't play. Oh, I can't play. I can play all those. I can't play a power stone, but I can play three cards. I just don't see how that wins though when we're just losing bar with the name for free. Uh, dude, dude, dude what, 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 this game would just be a lock, dude. A lock if it wasn't for this freaking bar with no name, dude. I'm so tilted. Maybe the opponent decides to turn it off because they think I'm gonna play to it. I don't know. That's not, that's not happening, but I'm just so tilted. Bro. So mad. Look how strong this turn is, dude. It, it, it's really just this idiot bar with no name. We dumped the 29 power on the final turn <sighs> okay yeah early time stones very chill early ravona is very chill early hope summers is very chill luke's bar is totally fine Oh, we got out ahead of the altar of death. Man, this game got very hard to play. <laughs> I could go Professor X right. Uh, oh, well, I can still go Professor X right for the record. That that didn't change that logic, did it? Thanos might still be playable there later, of course, which is part of the, the goal of the Professor X here. I also don't hate this for the record as well. We have Blob that's big, Thanos that's big. Maybe this is just better. Kind of risky because you know they can play there. Uh, this is like a tribunal deck, maybe. Yeah, I think probably tribunal deck, right? Cosmo can sometimes limit that a little bit from a um, uh, mystique standpoint. We also would love to see a reality stone. In fact, I think reality stone is so important that I have to play cards. Cause I, I this loses, you know, to um, a big tribunal play. Kinda need to see some cards here. Reality Stone, please, one time. It might be Hella, actually. Oh my God, dude. Jeez. Actual genius. Actual genius Hearthstone player. Hearthstone player, no, Marvel Snap player. I mean, also a genius Hearthstone player for the record, but uh, particularly here at a Marvel Snap player. We can't lose, right? It's impossible. How could we possibly lose? Uh, Minions yeah, hell, it's just a whiff. <laughs> you love seeing that, dude. <laughs> I got so told by Hella earlier. You love seeing that. Perfect. Okay, Mind Stone makes life very good, but Mind Scape makes life very bad. So we need to hit Reality Stone off this Mind Stone, I guess. Uh, that would make life very good. Maybe we'll play Hope left in order to set that Reality Stone up as well. Come on, Reality Stone. No! Goose. This might actually be another Thanos deck. I saw a Goose Thanos deck. It's so weird, dude. I didn't see a single Thanos, I feel like, until I started recording a video for Thanos, and <laughs> now they're just everywhere. Uh, so Time Stone, Space Stone, a third stone would be so sick, dude. I could go crazy on uh, Hope Ramp. Sasquatch really cheap. Some cool lines there. Blue Marvel's interesting as well. Yeah, I'm gonna double stack these for now. We can put like a big blob there to. Well, no, never mind. We cannot put a big blob there. That's a goose. We can put a Sasquatch there though. No, no, Sasquatch is gonna cost four. Uh, we can put a <laughs> Mobius there. <laughs> we'll figure something out. I believe in us. So, oh, Mockingbird's actually perfect. Yeah, Mockingbird's great news. Okay. 
So, um, we also have Professor X Thanos, but only if Mindscape were turned off. As it is, it's not turned off. So it's like, can you go for it here? So just giving the opponent such an insane hand, dude. I mean, it, it definitely makes the most sense to me to get like as much power down as possible here. Trying to figure out what that is. Only one ongoing card for Spectrum. I mean, Sasquatch is the most stacked power. Blob is 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, pretty much always 15. This is worth three plus, you know, six is nine plus stuff next turn. Just wish I could play this with some. It's like so insane that I don't have a cheap card other than Mockingbird to do all this. I guess we'll just play the Sasquatch, honestly. Oh no. How many cards is the opponent gonna play? Like, I don't want them to have a blob either, you know? The Sasquatch might be more Avengers. prohibitive for them next turn. Awesome. I don't know. Captain America is pretty insane. Dude, why are there so many Thanos decks out now? Like, why did it take three days to get Thanos into action? Yeah, there's the 15 as expected. I mean, I can't complain with a 24 point turn, right? Dude, what a hand. Um, I mean, it just feels like a big Thanos right to me, doesn't it? Uh, I guess Hobgoblin's similar in power, but lets me do like maybe a little bonus. Ooh. Oh, I can't move Blob! Dude, no! I love the movement Thanos deck, by the way. It's kind of a fun... Fun little thing. Let's put one here just to challenge a little bit, and then Thanos right. I mean, I don't know how you lose this, right? Like, Thanos matches. They don't have the ramp that we had. It's just like, we're way ahead. Victory. We know their hand. I just don't see how they, how they get there. I mean, they did play two things. So they have a cheap Sasquatch plus... You know, something maybe. Okay, the turn two Thena. Not especially great, but uh you know, stones stones help. Stones help in Lake Hellas too, nice. Thena's fine for now. We'll put her away from Hellas since we think stones might be able to carry there. Assuming we find some freaking stones. That is. Cosmo will definitely tempo. Oh, a second Mockingbird. That would be amazing if I had a freaking stone. <laughs> I need the Mind Stone so bad, dude. Come on, please. Ant Man, dude, I'm dying right now. I have nothing to do. This is the <laughs> this is the worst hand I've ever seen. Oh. I cannot believe how bad this hand is. Hope is also just completely dead. Oh my god, dude. I am hopeless. No, I'm not hopeless. I have hope. I have hope, but I have no hope. Unbelievably dead hand. I don't know if I could have picked a worse draw, man. Not a single stone in sight. Unbelievable. So, I mean, can, can Thanos left win? I, the, the crazy thing is, I am worried about Jeff. I actually lose to Jeff. They might be smart not to play the Jeff because they're thinking of the Athena, and it's like, oh, well, I'll just lose anyway because like Athena's gonna go to eleven. In which case, uh, maybe Thanos left wins. I, I don't know, dude. This game could not be. They shouldn't win. They should just. They should have two or three cards they can play here. You know. They're so far ahead mid. I mean, maybe they think I'm cooking something, but they kind of expect me to play two cards most. There is a world where you could almost trust the Spectrum to win to really ensure right, but if the opponent is thinking smartly about Thena, they probably won't play right anyway, so hopefully the Thanos is just big enough. Uh... That's not, the Kitty Pride's big, but not that big. Oh my God, dude, how do we steal this game? <laughs> This is the worst game. I did, I did absolutely nothing. I played a 610. I would have been better off with a Hulk. Good God, what a terrible game. How do you win that? That is so silly.
Oh, okay. Um, Ant-Man into a six cost? I think there's better things to turn into sixes, right? Let's, let's chill for now. Oh, Ebony Maw into a six. Okay, Sasquatch is a solid six. The best, but probably not mad about it, right? Oh, yeah, Fina mid is perfect. It's a little weird that Ant-Man's there, but that's already happened, so. Just help him along. We can still go big. Ant-Man and Lizard, natural enemies. Subterranea, huh? Boy, I, I, I would I would take a rock though to be honest. It, it's just ramp, it's you know. That's that's better than a rock for sure, so we'll take that too. Rock left would be really nice though now now that we know um you know we got rocks. Opponent kind of already committed something. This is looking like a Sauron Shuri deck, by the way. Uh we got we got Ebony Maw, we got Lizard, and Armor, all things pointing to Shuri Sauron. They didn't play a Shuri, though, so... I'm thinking maybe that's not going to happen, right? Uh, I mean, you definitely think Thanos is going down, and then you think you want to take a six roll here, right? You may not get another one next turn. Uh, weirdly, I could make Mockingbird cheaper by doing this, like, the other way around, or playing, like, a Cosmo and a Power Stone, but... This just feels the most efficient from a power output standpoint, right? Buff Stina. The high roll here, not destroyer. Behold my mighty hand. Onslaught with blue marvels actually kind of insane. Sadly, not another play though. Also doesn't win left, which feels super not good. Uh I mean, I think we just have to trust 15 right, to be honest. This is sort of overkill mid in a weird way, though. But I, I, I we didn't see, you know, a Shuri or anything. We, we did see a pass, so like, She-Hulk Taskmaster is a play, but I think they just give up right because they're so far behind. So I think we just have to go big here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Not a problem. Yeah. Red Skull, She-Hulk better, I guess, with no Shuri, of course. Although, not actually. Taskmaster would have been 10 here. This Red Skull kind of ends up being uh, six. Of course, they didn't know that though. Okay, Shauna. That's, that's playable, perhaps. I mean, I think I like my other threes better at the moment, but. Oh. Shauna could definitely dump some power there. Ninja's no problem. Soulstone now draws a card, doesn't it? Yeah, that's super sick. Thanos is chilling. I tried to Shang-Chi a Thanos earlier today. <laughs> I need to take advantage of that same uh, lack of knowledge from from uh, from my opponents today, huh? Weirdly, I'm not even like that distraught if these get destroyed. It does feel like I'm probably gonna fall behind a little bit, doesn't it? Like, should I pivot out already? I could dump a Shauna there even and still not be that distraught. Uh, part of me wants to play a Space Stone ASAP though. Like, I just don't see Mobius getting there. Like, maybe if we had a Mockingbird, I'd feel better, but I don't have one. Thanos is too expensive. I'm gonna bail, dude. I, I'm not that, that, like, this also an effect, the ongoing effect's not that valuable to me. This just seems like it's, yeah, exactly. Just too much power. I can't, I can't match that. I'm glad we bailed. Ravona uh, discount now turned off too, which is cool. Like I said though, there is this part of me that thinks this is an okay turn. Uh... Like, just throw away the Shauna body. Get a one drop, get a one drop. We, I mean, we could keep the Shauna body too if we think, but but spacing wise, right? Like that only leaves me, well, I do have four total. I do have four spaces available left at that stage. So well, maybe that's okay. We could still splash some big stuff. Sewer system, I kind of wish I had uh, uh, Luke Cade right now. Hyera, huh? Oh, that's from, that's from the random card, isn't it? Windjet. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot I'm full mid. Oh, no. Oh, God. I mean, Blue Marvel and Spectrum can fix that, but I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Spectrum might save me, but I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. I, I, I think I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, no. Spectrum, please. One time, Spectrum. Angela, Havoc, Nightcrawler, okay. Cards they've left in hand, it can't be many. Two in hand, three soon. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, I'm the luckiest son of a gun on earth. No, dude, I don't deserve this if I win this. I, it's not given because right's still not very strong either. Only adding eight power right. But it might be hard for the opponent to add a ton of power right. Just a few cards, sewer system stun, a, a huge scaler. Um, oh, they do they do go hard mid, but is it hard enough? It's I'm adding six. Knowledge. They're only adding four. Oh my god, dude. Wait, what's this? How big is this? <gasps> Oh my god, dude, I'm the luck, dude, I don't deserve this. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Oh, that top deck completely saved me. They're probably thinking he's a genius, dude. He, <laughs> he's so smart. He knew he had the he knew he had the blue marvel spectrum. He wasn't worried at all. <laughs> I'm so lucky. One point here too is crazy.